welcome to APG. My name is Alex. My name is Angela. And we're going to be talking about our top five Nintendo E3 2019 moments. And we're going to start it off with Pokemon Sword and Shield. That game needs to come here now. I'm going to be running out with nobody. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, the cra the graphics of itself was amazing. The the most that caught me the most attention was the whistle. Like you can like literally whistle. So Oh yeah, you can you whistle. You can whistle and attract Pokemon. And attract Pokemon and you just um, get yeah, you can get close to it so you can start battling. Yeah. Um they also introduced new Pokemon. Like I, think, Corgi. I think that was in the direct, the new Pokemon like Wooloo, uh the Turtle, Corviknight, and the cauliflower, I forgot its name, put it somewhere. And after E3, after the presentation was done, they did Treehouse Live where they introduced Yamper, which is the electric corgi, and a Dark Fairy, I believe, which is called Impidi, which is actually pretty cute and devilish too. And in Pokemon Sword and Shield, there is not a gym leader on Elite Four based on the queen with a bunch of corgis, like, you're gonna have it's so sucks. much fun like, capturing a lot of core games for me. Like, and also, you can see how realistic the battle is. When you, like, Way see better. battles <laughs> between, uh, uh, it could be Pokemon to Pokemon, or just, just uh, when you're battling a trainer, the new trainer, the water uh, trainer. The water gym leader, uh, Nessa. <laughs> She's cute. She looks amazing. She's pretty cute. <laughs> and then you have the the grass gym leader Milo that looks like a little kid on the body of a bodybuilder that's your normal you know anime protagonist yeah that's normal Pokemon it's like mm -hmm. pretty much they also showed Pokemon. you know raid battles uh, more Pokemon like I said the Yamper uh, after the Nintendo Direct they gave a bit more details and they mentioned that I, I don't like this but if your Pokemon, if you you have the Galar Pokedex, you can only transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Home to the Sword and Shield if it appears in the Pokedex. Yeah. So, so if you like a, a, a Growlithe and Growlithe doesn't appear doesn't appear in the Galar Pokedex, you can't transfer your Growlithe from uh, Home into Galar, which is horrible. What the hell? There's like 800 Pokemon. Why are you doing this to me? I can't collect them all anymore. No, I mean, that, I think the whole point of it is a lim having a limit for you like, to explore more since they're adding more Pokemons and they're adding no, more features. No, I want my whole thing. Well, you cannot have everything you want. <laughs> I'm like 400 hours in the other games. I want my Pokemon. Oh, you can also use the Pokeball Plus. That's true. In the game, you can also use it. And that's, you, that's really entertaining. You, 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 I can imagine myself like you, just me walking and playing and using the Pokeball. <laughs> yeah, you can you can transfer a Pokemon from Sword and Shield into the Pokeball and you can take it around. Yeah. What happens? I don't know. I think it, it gets uh, like uh, friendship levels. Like okay. that sounds about based right. on like if you're walking it and like you're treating it and stuff like that, you could get more uh, level based on charisma. Sounds about right. So, what's going to be highlight number two? Number two is Luigi's Mansion 3, which should be called Ho Luigi's Hotel. What? It's more like a Luigi slash uh, American Horror Story for me. <laughs> Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion cross American Horror Story. Heard it here first. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it should be a game. Like, the whole vibe of it. Because it, it is. It is. It's, it's super scary, but at the same time, it's like a kid's vibe. You have new uh, Guigi's. You yes, have, you have Guigi. Yeah, Luigi himself transform uh, his self goo, so it can, can help during the whole mission. And yeah, during and the co-ops, you can uh, use them as uh, co-op players. Yes, Luigi's Mansion Three has co-op, and your other companion, your other co-op player, can be a Guigi. And I think you can have a, like to four people at the oh, same up to time. Four people, yeah. They have like a little style that was on the 3DS. I'm not sure, but they're all Guigi's, and Guigi can't be hurt 
by attacks or spikes or whatever but he does go down the drain like water yeah he goes quickly <laughs> but it's so cute and adorable that's the whole thing about it it's it's cute <laughs> i believe luigi's mansion 3 is gonna be out this year too not sure when probably it just said by fall by fall, fall 2019 so... 2019 yes so probably so we're waiting October. for that that's another one on the list of buy. <laughs> yeah so what's gonna be highlight number three? Highlight number three would be, I would say it would be the characters for Super Smash. We got two new DLC characters. One is the hero from uh, Dragon Quest XI. I can't remember the name. It's a remake of an uh, older Dragon Quest. And everyone's been waiting for it. Banjo-Kazooie from the original 64 game. It's coming back. It was funny that at the, at the first, uh, in the intro of the trailer of the character, I was I thought they were going to bring another Donkey Kong game. I was kind of excited. Because <laughs> the last Donkey Kong game was at the Wii console. I was hoping for more no, of... It, it was on the Wii U, Tropical Freeze. Was oh, Wii, right, yes. Which, is re, which they remade for the, the... Not remade, but they ported it to the Switch. Yeah. So I was waiting for more of Donkey Kong. Yeah, but uh, at, at the beginning of the clip... You can see a little puzzle piece jumping around that signifies Banjo Kazooie. Oh, I didn't get to see that. I didn't. Re I didn't notice. <laughs> Let's see. We can put it here slow motion. You can see the thing <laughs> watching <Jumping>. here. <laughs> okay, then what's highlight number four? Highlight number four is. No, did we mention? No, okay. Damn see. Highlight number five. Vamos ahora. Para tres. Sword. No, si vamos tres, porque falta Animal Crossing y Zelda. Sí, okay. Pues highlight number four. Highlight number four is Legend of Zelda, The Breath of the Wild, and Link's Awakening remastered or remade. Because obviously it's a GBA game made into the Switch and it has a cute done uh, top down look. It's just cute. I like the vibe. Like, I, ha I haven't gotten into the whole Le uh, Zelda uh, franchise entirely. Like, yes, I know, you can slap me. Uh, but I like it. I like the how it started from... It's not the, the, the one that they, they mentioned before that's like a type of dungeon. The one that, that looks really like a Binding of Isaac. And you can just <laughs> jump uh, by dungeon. I didn't like that that much based on like its uh, third-person view. But I like the like a top third-person view. But I like the the Breath of the Wind. I need to play the first one too. Breath of the Wild. The Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wind. <laughs> the Wind. Before we move on to the Breath of the Wind, uh, Breath, of the, Breath <laughs> of the Wild. Uh, Link's Awakening is like I mentioned before is a GBA game that's being remade for the Switch, and in that one, Link uh, washes ashore on a this, on an island with a village. And that village has a legend that there's a giant egg on the top of a mountain that once it hatches, it destroys everything under it, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me. And you have to stop it from happening. You go around, you collect your stuff, your little uh, items, like always, you go to the dungeons. And if you, you can now pre-order it, and it includes a little, I think it's called the Dream Edition, that includes a, a what's it called an art book a beautiful art book that shows you everything about the game and like always Europe gets the better one that brings uh, the art book and a steel bookcase that looks just like a GBA it looks amazing that looks cute. and the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 is finally in development and just by the little trailer that they gave us it looks super dark compared it is. to the Breath of the Wild. For, I, I thought it was for a kid, it was really dark. Yeah, everyone's saying that has like a Majora's Mask vibe. Since, you know, Majora's Mask is way is darker than Ocarina of Time. And I think it uses, it looks like it uses the same engine. Uh, Zelda looks like she got a haircut because now her hair is at shoulder length. And you can see like uh, the I forgot what they're called the temple 
the people every time you finish the temple in Legend of Zelda and Breath of the Wild, like its energy is being sucked up and being turned into a like a demon or something. I look more like a zombie. Like a zombie maybe. Yeah, like a type of zombie. And that's where it that, is. that's that like that's uh Zelda wakes him up and that's when the trailer ends. Yeah. I give it two years, because Nintendo usually usually doesn't show uh, video games that are about a year or so away. But since it's the same engine as Breath of the Wild, it should be hopefully closer. Let's hope. Hopefully. Anyway. Uh, How about highlight number four? I mean, five. Number five. Highlight number five. Which is Animal Crossing. <laughs> We finally get Animal Crossing, and we can finally be in debt again to the damn raccoon, Tim Nook. I think he's around here somewhere. No, not you. He's over there. You can be in debt to this guy, again. I think you already start the game, the whole trailer, you start already with the whole trailer of uh, being in debt. Like, they, he'd say, oh, so now it's officially here is the bill. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the video, he gives you a bill for, like, 50 grand. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, you can build, you can do whatever. Yeah, it, you, your little village is on an island. It's beautiful, obviously. Animal Crossing is amazing. Everyone should go out and buy it. They, they did a little changes, that, like, in the... Uh... In the treehouse that we're mentioning, they were uh, directing the, the game live, the gameplay. And she was mentioning uh, the creator, I think she was, the, or the director. I'm sorry. Uh, she was mentioning how change it before the previous game and the, the game now. Like, okay, instead of taking three seconds, we're taking two, and it's faster when you move uh, furniture, or is it, it's, it's easier when you're like equipping. Uh, equipping stuff? Yeah. yeah. I mean, moving furniture was a chore in the game, but that's what we're moving furniture. And she has a new feature, they, they also mentioned a new feature called the uh, uh, DUI. Uh, like, it's basically you cre you created yourself the whole crafting furniture with I materials. I make it myself? Yeah. So I don't have to give it out to the llama? No, you pretty much, with the, you gather based on materials, you craft your own furniture or tools. That sounds good. Yeah, and unfortunately at the end, uh, Nintendo director mentioned that they have changed the release date. They changed the release date, so they want to make it perfect. I already see it perfect and all, but they changed the release date to unknown yet. It's, uh, it's, no, they, it's 2020, but they didn't no, mention it. The release date is March 2020. Okay. It's March 2020, if I believe. The game was supposed to release... Now for Christmas this year, this year, but they delayed it because, like she said, they wanted to make perfect. Plus, they don't want you know developers to crash and overwork them, which I guess is a pretty it's good under, reason. It's understandable, but we wanted it now. Want it now? Cause, cause, cause we gamers are so impatient. <laughs> Want it now? Where's Want my, it now? <laughs> where's my? I got it. <laughs> so, so you can be a you know a time a traveling time uh, lord and have I think Rosetti tell you to stop time traveling. Tells you to stop time traveling a little mole. And, and we for have an honorable highlight. An honorable highlight, which is the I'm sorry, but I like I, it's not honorable for me, but I have to say it. I have to like add this to the video we saw that just dance 2020 was added for the wii console the wii is still alive it's still technically, alive this is, technically this isn't you know for uh <laughs> the nintendo e3 direct <laughs> but still this is nintendo info and just dance 20 2020 or the last one 2020 is being made for the wii not the wii u screw the wii u the wii like everybody was enjoying the performance and um, I think it, 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 it Ubisoft was the yeah, Ubisoft the, panel. yeah it was in the Ubisoft panel we were always we, we were having fun with it like oh they're gonna do another just dance but we had we all had the same reaction but they added at the end of the list 
the Wii logo. And like everybody, they're still making games for it? You, you see the Nintendo Switch, <laughs> the PS4, and the Xbox One, and then you see Wii. Wii. And we like, pause. We need to pause this moment. Like, did I read that right? The, the is, is, is this making history of her? <laughs> the Wii is still kicking and breathing and still getting games released. I thought, thing, I thought that thing was dead. I thought I thought so too. I thought it was really gonna stay like with the Wii U and then continue. Wii yeah. U and Nintendo Switch. But hey. But hey guys, tell us what what was your highlight in the Nintendo conference E3 2019? Down in the comments below. Please and thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please and thank you. See you in the next one. Please and thank you. <laughs>